Hello everyone, today I will present to you about our business plans, ECA Vietnamese Grocery Hotpot Restaurant. First of all, I will introduce to you as well industry analysis. In 2015, the revenue of the industry reached $11.7 billion with a growth of 3.6% in the period of 2010-2015. The profit of the industry is $1.1 billion with 8,550 businesses. The market share of the industry is highly fragmented. The industry has no major player which is comprising of many small businesses. The next point I will talk about is the market trends. Increasingly, busy lives lead to more people eating out and the combination of meal and leisure, increasing health consciousness and a heightened focus on quality, increasing consumer interest in food culture and new dining experience, the demand for convenient and affordable food is expected to rise, and the increasing popularity of casual dining means moving away from the formal booking. About the competitive landscape, the businesses in the industries face fierce competition internally and externally. The restaurant operators often compete at price, many options, cuisines, locations, ambience, and customer services. The competition in the industries is analyzed by quarter five forces, as so in the slide. As you can see, the threat of new engines is high, the bargaining power of buyer is low, the bargaining power of the suppliers is low, the threat of substitutes is high, with the rivalry among existing competitors is high. Next, I will talk about the market growth areas and gaps. About growth area, the new fashionable dining experience, the cultural experience and international cuisines, degustation menus and casual dining, healthy and high nutrient food ingredients, cheaper mid-tier price option of food, and there are some market gaps. There are still much room and demand for restaurants, which can provide new and special dining experience for customers, combining meal and leisure. The special cuisines, especially one with the um, cultural rich value so that customers can enjoy new tastes, healthy food, and new culture at the same time at an affordable price. And now I will introduce to you about our startup business. It is an Asian variety restaurant specializing on Vietnamese hot pot cuisine. So hot pot is served in a rotating bell which is unique recipe of Vietnamese hot pot handed down through family. For our startup business, our core competencies is based on the unique recipe. It provides customers with Vietnamese food culture experience and new special dining style. So, there are some needs that we're going to fulfill. The need for special cuisines, cultural rich food, combining meal and leisure, and the healthy option within an affordable price. Now let's move on to our product and market segment. Around the product segment, we focus on the mid-range dining segment. And about our market segment, we based on geographic, demographic, and benefit south. We target people living in Melbourne, belonging to third and fourth quantile income. Asian people and people seeking for special and international cuisines, new dining experience, good quality food ingredients, and casual dining. Now I will talk about our estimate market size. We use TAM, SAM, SOM analysis to estimate our market size. As you can see the definition in the slides. Now, I'm going to estimate the market size. According to IB School report, the industry revenue is $11.7 billion with 8,550 businesses. Mid range dining segment accounts for 35% of the total industry revenue. Out of three segments, mid range dining had the second highest number of the businesses. So, we assume that the number of the mid range Dining restaurant is an average of the three segments. 
So the number of mid-range dining restaurants is equal to 2,850 restaurants. So the, and the time is $11.7 million with the sum it calculated as $1.4 million. So an average mid-range dining restaurant can earn average of $1.4 million in revenue annually. Furthermore, the rotary belt is seated for at most 50 people at a time. We assume that our restaurant serves 130 people on an average day, 80% of which come for dinner and 20% for lunch. The price for lunch set is $16 per person and the price for dinner set is $29 per person. The business is open for 345 days, which holidays and days off deducted. We assume a discount rate for 20% just for year 1 because of the business is new to customer, so the business performance is just 80% for year 1. So, we calculate the sum as $947,000, so the estimated revenue is $947,000, so it's calculated at market share of 0.008%. Now, let's move on to our business launching. About our operation, we locate in Sunshine area. The restaurant is seated for 50 people at most. We serve four kinds of soup best. We open seven days. Uh, with the price lunch is $16 per person and with the dinner set is $29 per person. About our human resource, we hire one chef. Two chef assistant and five waiter. With our promoting activity, we post photo and video on social network such as Facebook, Instagram, or Urban Spoon. We also put a banner in front of our venue, and we offer 10% discount with the first opening week. About our finance, we are looking for investment from organization or angle. Next, I will talk about our expanding strategy. We do franchising. The reason we consider franchising to expand our business is that our business can be replicated. An outlet owner do not need to obtain heavily specialized new skills to operate the business. We will provide necessary training and the recipe for the hot pot soup. The little technology knowledge required. We have a key selling point that makes us different from other restaurants is the unique cuisines of several kinds of Vietnamese hot pot handed down through generations in one of our own family. <coughs> Franchising has some advantages, such as we do not have to concern about capital requirements for setting up new restaurants, day-to-day -day operation of each outlet. The business had a rapid growing opportunities and bring us a regular revenue. Owner of each outlet will be more motivated to manage the restaurant well. It enables us to deliver service to nationwide customers, turning our brand into a national brand. Besides, the franchising also have some disadvantage need to consider. For example, cost to establishing franchising network relative to the time to see a return, or a loss of control, the risk of leaking confidential recipe of our hot pot, finding and attracting the right franchises. And follow up, we have some recommendation and cost action for our business. According to Australian Franchise Council, they advise opening several outlets with our own capital before franchising to prove the business concept. So we plan to open another restaurant by the end of year 2. We will call for more investment to open that restaurant from an angel or arm length party. In 5 years, we target at opening two franchising restaurants. At the end of year 5, we aim to achieve $5 million in total revenue, which by two restaurants owned by us and two franchises. So that's it all for our presentation. Thank you for listening.